This is Twit. Uh, Android 14, which is, yes, the next version of Android that we haven't even started to see any uh, any versions of, any developer previews or nothing like that. We're just now starting to hear some aspects, some elements about it to look forward to. And I think, I believe on last week's or the week before episode, y'all talked about the SpaceX and T-Mobile announcement that they would be bringing satellite connectivity to smartphones. Well, last week... Uh, Hiroshi Lockheimer actually tweeted about this and said, uh, essentially said that Google is working, they're designing for satellites. Uh, he said, we're excited to support our partners in enabling all of this in the next version of Android. And it has been confirmed by 9 to 5 Google that the next version is indeed Android 14 that Hiroshi was talking about. So satellite connectivity coming to Android 14, uh, at least as a capability, and uh, yeah, great for people who aren't served by kind of traditional connectivity, traditional um, cellular coverage. This would be for no, a, a smaller percentage of people. But which is it the Musk satellites or the other satellites? I don't know that that, there, that information is public yet, but um, it's just there. There's some similarity between you know, what SpaceX and T-Mobile is doing and what Hiroshi was referring to. So I don't know if they have a direct relationship, um, but they're definitely working on building this functionality into Android to support something like that. So, yeah, yeah. I could totally and see that And we thought happening. we'd see that on the new Apple phones, too. Yeah, that was, I did, that too. That was a rumor there. Right. But it, any of the satellite connectivity, though, it sounds like most of these companies are looking at something like texting, which wouldn't require mm. SpaceX level constant Isn't always that on what Apple dis satellite. Discussed this morning. Did they talk seems about like it? They discussed that. Yeah, it seems like they discussed that this morning, and where it basically shrinks down the the bits of SMS, so you can get get uh, it faster over this so called satellite connection. Oh yeah, they did talk about it. My bad. <laughs> but that had to do with the watch. Is that what you're saying, Jammer B? Uh, no, yeah. it's an iPhone 14. And the, does the Ultra Watch also have it? Okay. Okay. I'll explain the size. There you go. Yeah. I, I, the I IRC says the satellite is for SOS calls. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And that makes sense. I mean, like yeah. the Garmin has their inReach, which was a surprise hit for them. And that's like a little. I have one. <laughs> It's a little, it's a walkie-talkie looking device that you can oh, use like when you're camping Nixdale. to send an SOS. Yeah, well, no, oh, not a walkie-talkie. It, it, it looks it looks like a tiny walkie-talkie, but it's not a walkie-talkie, sorry. Gotcha. Um, and you can use it to send a little SOS in your location when you're camping. And, you know, like as a woman who goes hiking by herself, I'm like, hello. Super good to have that. Clumsy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I bought that for like 350 bucks. And so it makes sense that Apple's like, hey, that's, that's a feature we could stick on our phones. And maybe one day it could be even more useful over time. Because once you get those economies of scale yes. for the chipsets, that would maybe be awesome. And that really, that really ends up solving a, a problem that we've all kind of learn to live with because we didn't have a solution for it, which is that, you know, you don't always have connectivity everywhere you go with your phone. Now, if, if it supports satellite connectivity, eventually you could see a time where you kind of always do because wherever it, you know, traditional cellular coverage can't reach the satellite probably can. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's some good, good, uh, progress right there. I like that a lot. So Android 14, would uh, be something to look one at least one feature of Android 14 to look forward to, and who knows you know if that's the case then you can I can already see it now right like the Pixel 8 or whatever now with satellite connectivity uh, compatibility, but who the heck knows? We well, still need we, to get to the seven. Is is that um oh Stacy is that antenna specific to the satellite? Um, which antenna? To be able to get the satellite, is it is it is the satellite uh, it would mimicking be, yes, cell, you would have, or is it a separate kind of antenna? I don't know that. Sorry, I I didn't even know Apple introduced it. So now I'm like, um, Global well, move Star. Move past bezels. Using, get past the bezels here. <laughs> okay, well, if it's <laughs> Global Star, Global well, yeah. Star, you do have to have a specific transceiver in your device. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. did like 
and I th- is Apple using Global Star? That's like these are the like again just no found idea. out they have this. They, um, they just gave the high level. <laughs> Apple picks Global Star for emergency satellite service on iPhone 14. One there hour ago. Okay, Reuters. so then then so, you yes. would need you would need a special antenna inside the device. So is um, it possible, in other words, that um, Samsung could put one antenna in its hardware and Google could put a different antenna in its hardware and the software has to deal with both? Yes, but it would be stupid to do that. Yeah, um, but because that doesn't mean that it won't happen. <laughs> it would be stupid because it would cost more. So right. if you have to have a special antenna manufactured as a radio, you're going to want as many people using that radio as possible because then mm-hmm. you can take your costs down on that radio. Because satellite radios, like part of the expense of satellite is because they require specialized equipment that doesn't benefit from the economies of scale that are in cell phones. Okay, so so, so queen queen of chips, which chip uh-huh. is, 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 is the, is, is, what am I asking here? Um, are the antennas, the antennae, in uh-huh. uh, uh, in our phones, um, uh-huh. what are they? What chips are they built into? How many? You got your your core chips, but what chips are the antennae in? Is it something you just add on to an existing chip? Uh, would it have to be a new. It chip? depends. So Qualcomm Qualcomm integrates their application processor, which is the brains of a smartphone. Mm-hmm. There are now a lot more brains on a smartphone with a radio. So okay. Apple, though, because they built their own chip, they still use Qualcomm radios, but they don't use the uh, application processor because they built right. their own. Right. That's one of the reasons they're in this big fight with Qualcomm. Anyway, um, so you could have your separate baseband chip for talking to your 4G. And usually now they're they're pretty highly integrated. So you'll have a baseband mm-hmm. chip that talks to your 4G, your 5G network. I guess you could integrate that with Right now, you it's not integrated with the Global Star, so you would need another chip on your board right. for handling. And the radio has the antenna plus a little, we'll call it an engine, a DSP process or whatever to handle the the calculations of turning your airwaves into bits and bytes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, this this is those not two things are overnight. So surely this has been no. in discussion in the field for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, people have been rumored. I mean, it's been rumored for like two years. And the other thing is the satellite companies for the last like, I mean, in 2005, I was reporting on satellite companies that wanted to get into the cellular space. One of the big issues were that your satellite spectrum or your satellite airwaves and your LTE or whatever cellular airwaves, you couldn't have both of those. Right. You had to have two separate radios and that was expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you always had to have up until probably 2008, maybe the FCC said, if you were going to do satellite connectivity, the majority of your connectivity had to deal with satellites and not with like cellular on the ground. And they did that to separate the two things out. And then like Philip Falcone came in with light squared and was like, the FCC said, yeah, okay, you don't have to, you know, you can have this combo terrestrial thing and most of your most of your traffic doesn't have to go through satellite. And then he was like, aha, I found a way to back, haul, back my way into a cellular network. And then everybody was like, no. And then the FCC changed their mind. Um, it's politics right, one more question. and technology. So uh, this, is, this is really good uh, because we happen to have the queen of chips right here. So why not take advantage of it? <laughs> um, uh, so the announcement that Elon made with with T-Mobile. I mean, he changed. He has different satellites, different birds going up, right? Um, but how can T-Mobile say we're gonna? Can they offer it only with one phone that happens to have this hardware? Whose phone is it? What are they off? I don't understand how T-Mobile as a carrier can offer it across multiple phones, or is it just one phone they're going all this effort to? Uh, how do you think that's going to work? Oh, this is the T-Mobile SpaceX thing. This isn't the right. Apple stuff now. No, okay, no, sorry. sorry. I switched. I was sorry. No, no. And I'm actually reading about Scooter X says Apple says they figured out how to use the iPhone's antenna. I'll answer your Timo thing in a second. Okay. Um, the iPhone's antenna and special software to compress to reach the satellites. Okay, so they don't actually. Wow. They're using the. Wow. Uh, they're That's actually. Nifty. They're using the case. Well, no, they build antennas into the into the yeah. bezel. 
mouth into the <laughs> edge of the phone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. I just didn't. Apparently, I just slept through this part of the, the presentation. Okay. With TiVo in SpaceX, I don't know how that's going to work because I have not okay. paid attention to that at all. all right. Sorry. Fair enough. I did learn a lot about Microsoft and 5G and AT&T, though, if you want to revisit that ever, because that was all day <laughs> yesterday. I did a whole talk on that with them. <laughs> did you ask them why so we maybe have to talk deactivate to me in three our weeks. 5G modem uh, on our phones in order to get better battery? Did you ask them that, huh? No. Oh, I can tell you why that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I understand actually. I, I just, I just wanted to <laughs> yeah, like, throw my, throw my upsetness around a little bit about the your ire. Battery. Yeah, my ire. Thank you. 